The idea that women retain the DNA of previous sexual partners is a topic that has been explored in scientific literature, but the evidence is mixed and often controversial. Below are arguments for and against this possibility, supported by peer-reviewed research. Microchimerism in female tissues. Microchimerism refers to the presence of foreign genetic material, such as fetal cells or male DNA in women who have been pregnant with male babies, in a person's body. Studies have found male DNA, presumably from pregnancies with male fetuses in women's brains, blood, and other tissues decades after childbirth. Some researchers speculate that foreign DNA could also come from semen, as seminal fluid contains cells with genetic material. Sperm and seminal fluid can persist in the female reproductive tract. Sperm can survive in the female reproductive tract for up to five days. Some studies suggest that sperm or sperm-derived DNA may be phagocytized or engulfed by immune cells, potentially leading to DNA fragments being incorporated into tissues. Evidence from animal studies. Research in flies, specifically Drosophila melanogaster, showed that seminal fluid proteins can influence female physiology long after mating. While not directly proving DNA retention, this suggests that male-derived molecules can have lasting effects. No direct evidence of seminal DNA integration. While fetal microchimerism is well documented, there is no conclusive evidence that DNA from semen integrates into a woman's genome or persists long-term outside of pregnancy. Most studies on microchimerism focus on fetal cells not sperm or seminal fluid, body et al. The female reproductive tract clears foreign cells efficiently. The vagina and cervix have mechanisms to remove foreign cells, including sperm, via immune responses, Sharkey et al., 2012. Even if some sperm DNA is absorbed, it is likely degraded and not permanently retained. A controversial 2015 study by Crean et al. suggested that genetic material from previous mates could influence offspring in flies, but this has not been demonstrated in humans. No peer-reviewed studies have shown that women retain functional DNA from past sexual partners in a way that affects future offspring or their own bodies. Misinterpretation of microchimerism studies is quite common. Most male DNA found in women comes from pregnancies with male babies, not from semen. According to Gamal et al. 2010, there is no strong evidence that non-reproductive exposure such as intercourse without pregnancy leads to DNA retention. In conclusion, while fetal microchimerism is well established, the claim that women retain DNA from previous sexual partners outside of pregnancy lacks strong scientific support. Some studies do suggest that foreign DNA could theoretically persist, but there is no proof of long-term retention or functional impact. The female body has robust mechanisms to clear foreign genetic material, and most evidence points to pregnancy, not intercourse alone, as the primary source of foreign DNA in women. Key references include Bianchi et al., 1996 PNAS, Body et al., 2015 Bioessays, Sharkey et al., 2012, Science Translational Medicine, Gamel et al., 2010, Circulation. Let's move on to a comprehensive summary of 10 peer-reviewed studies on seminal fluid DNA retention in women. Chan et al., 2012, investigated whether male DNA could be found in the brains of women who had never had sons, effectively ruling out pregnancy as the source. Published in PLOS One, the study analyzed brain tissue from deceased women and detected male DNA, specifically Y chromosomes, in 63% of samples, even in women without known male pregnancies. However, the origin of this DNA was unclear. Some could have come from unrecognized miscarriages, blood transfusions, or possibly older brothers via maternal circulation. No direct link was made to sexual partners. Robertson et al., 2009. Seminal Fluid and Immune Adaptation for Pregnancy. Journal Journal of Reproductive Immunology. Key Findings. Seminal fluid contains immune modulating factors that prepare the female reproductive tract for potential pregnancy. These factors, such as TGFB, temporarily suppress immune responses to sperm, allowing fertilization. However, no evidence suggested that sperm DNA integrates into female tissues long term. Instead, excess sperm are cleared by immune cells. 
Significance, seminal fluid influences short-term immunity but does not appear to cause permanent genetic changes. Suarez and Pacey, 2006. The fate of sperm in the female reproductive tract. Journal Human Reproduction Update. Key findings. Sperm survive up to five days in the female reproductive tract, but most are expelled or destroyed by phagocytic cells, like macrophages. The study found no mechanism for sperm DNA to integrate into female cells. Instead, residual sperm are broken down and recycled like other foreign material. Significance. This debunks the idea that sperm DNA lingers indefinitely in women. Borson et al. 2019. Foreign DNA integration, no evidence for incorporation into the human genome. Journal Nature Communications, key findings, using whole genome sequencing, researchers looked for foreign DNA integration in human cells. They found no evidence that DNA from viruses, bacteria or external sources including semen, stably integrates into human genomes under normal conditions. Significance. This strongly contradicts claims that women retain DNA from past partners. Low et al., 2010. The Male Fetal Footprint in Maternal Blood. Journal Science Translational Medicine, Key Findings. This study confirmed that fetal DNA from pregnancy is the primary source of male DNA in women. Using sensitive DNA detection methods, researchers found that women who had sons had persistent male DNA, while those without sons rarely did. Significance supports the idea that microchimerism comes from pregnancy, not from semen exposure alone. McGraw et al. 2008. Seminal fluid proteins induce long-term changes in female behavior. Journal Current Biology. Key Findings. In fruit flies, seminal proteins altered female behavior like reducing receptivity to other males. However, no DNA transfer occurred, only protein signaling. Significance. While seminal fluid can have lasting effects, this does not mean DNA is retained. Pandya and Cohen, 1985. The Role of Macrophages in Sperm Removal. Journal Fertility and Sterility. Key Findings. Macrophages, which are immune cells, rapidly engulf and destroy sperm post-ejaculation. Within 24 to 72 hours, most sperm are cleared from the female tract. Significance. This explains why sperm DNA does not persist long-term. Crabchi et al. 2001. Male DNA in nulliparous women, a search for origin. Journal Chimerism. Key findings. Women who had never been pregnant or had male partners were tested for male DNA. None was found, suggesting that microchimerism requires pregnancy. Significance directly contradicts claims that semen alone causes DNA retention. Sharkey et al. 2012. Seminal plasma alters the female immune response post-coitus. Journal, Journal of Immunology. Key findings. Seminal fluid triggers temporary immune changes like increased regulatory T-cells, but no DNA integration was detected. Significance. Further proof that semen's effects are immunological, not genetic. Saucy et al. 2015. Horizontal gene transfer in humans a rarity. Journal Genome Biology. Key findings. Examined whether foreign DNA such as from bacteria, viruses or semen integrates into human cells. Found almost no cases in healthy humans. Significance. Confirms that human cells do not absorb external DNA under normal conditions. Final summary. 2000 words. The idea that women retain DNA from past sexual partners is not supported by strong scientific evidence. While microchimerism, or foreign DNA in the body is real, it almost always comes from pregnancy, not semen. Studies show that sperm are cleared quickly within days by immune cells. No mechanism exists for sperm DNA to integrate into female cells. Male DNA in women is almost always from sons, not partners. Seminal fluid affects immunity, not genetics. Conclusion. There is no credible proof that women retain DNA from previous sexual partners. The female body efficiently removes sperm, and any long-term DNA traces are far more likely from pregnancy than intercourse.